So in one of my earlier video, I remember talking about a great solution to motion sickness called tunneling. So tunneling puts a sort of vignette around the player in order to reduce its field of view. This is actually a super cool thing to see. Having less field of view helps you to reduce the speed that you perceive. And it has been proven to help fight against motion sickness in VR. That's why we see this tunneling effect in some game like Google Earth VR or Eagle Fly, for example. But to my surprise, the Unity XR toolkit has made a ready to use vignette that you can set up in just a few seconds on your project. So in this video, I think I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to use it with continuous movement and teleportation. And if you are enjoying this video, let me know by subscribing down below. Big shout out also to my Patreon for allowing me to make this video. And if like them, you want to have access to all of the source code of my tutorials, join us, link in the description. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside a simple Unity project. I already did the VR setup and made a simple VR rig with both continuous movement and teleportation enabled. Of course, if you don't know how to do this, the four first episode of my tutorial series about the Unity XR Toolkit will teach you everything you need to know. Now to set up tunneling, let's go to Windows, Package Manager. Now select the package in Project. And if we click on Inkstar Interaction Toolkit, as you can see, we have some additional sample that we can download. And in our case, I'm going to click on import next to tunneling vignette. There you go. Once it is imported, we can close this windows. And as we can see, we have now a new folder under sample XR interaction toolkit containing everything for the tunneling. So we have, of course, a 3D model a material that is using here this custom shader. And by the way, uh, this shader is made using shader graph, so you can have a look at it by clicking over there. But what we want here is this tunneling vignette prefab. So I'm simply going to drag it under the main camera in our XR rig. There you go. So as you can see, we can trick the look of the vignette, which is super cool. To see what the vignette is looking like in the Unity editor, we can also go to preview in editor and replace here no effect to default parameters. Perfect, now we can see it on the game and scene window over there. So we can first set the size of the vignette using here the aperture size parameter. Next, the feathering effect allow you to say if you want a smooth blending or not in the vignette. And here the ease in and ease out time allow to say the time it will take the vignette to show or hide. And next, ease in time lock is useful for instant movement like teleportation that we will talk about later in this video. Finally, we have settings to change the color of the vignette over there and even change its Y position. I actually don't know in which case this will be helpful, but uh, anyway. Now, in my case, I will leave everything at default, but you can, of course, tweak this as your wish. Once you are happy with the settings, we can go back to preview in editor and set it back to no effect so that we will not have the vignette showing when making our game. But now the big question is, how can we trigger this vignette? And the answer is with a locomotion provider. So for example, if we want to have the vignette to show when we move with the continuous movement that is triggered by the joystick, we can click here on the plus button, drag the XR origin, then set the action to continuous. So this one, perfect. As you can see, we can even override some parameters if we want, but in my case, I will leave it like this. But now if I click on play, as you can see, it works. When I move around, the vignette is showing. That is perfect. And by the way, there is a super annoying thing with this vignette right now on the continuous movement provider. So if we have a look at this component, if we go to the gravity application mode here, make sure that it is set to attempting move because if it's set to immediately, the vignette will always appear even when you stay still. So I hope they will fix this in the future, but in the meantime, make sure to set it to attempting move. This will fix the issue. And so we did the tunneling now for the continuous movement, but if we want to do this as well, but for the continuous turn, we can simply do the same as earlier, which is click on the plus button, drag the XR origin, and this time choose continuous turn. Now, if I click on play, there it is, everything is working. I have now tunneling working for both continuous movement and continuous turn as well. That is perfect. 
Now, we have used tunneling for continuous movement and we could stop there, but there is a cool use of this tunneling for teleportation transition that I absolutely want to show you. So let's click on the plus button again, drag the XR origin, but this time use the teleportation provider. There you go. Now, if I click on play, as you can see, nothing seems to happen. The tunneling is not appearing. So this is because we are doing an instant movement, which does not allow the easing to happen. And so to fix this, we need to enable the ease in time lock that I talked about earlier. So to only have it on the teleportation, we can click on override default parameters and there enable ease in time lock. Perfect. Now, if I click on play again, everything is working. If I want to teleport, the vignette show, but as you can see, we first teleport and then the tunneling animation happens. So this is where we can make a cool transition for teleportation using this tunneling. So I'm going to leave play mode, select the XR origin, and here on the teleportation provider, we can give a certain delay time. So if I set it to the same ease in time as the vignette, which is 0.3, we should have the vignette appear, then be teleported, and then have the vignette disappear right afterwards. So finally, once it is done, we can go back to the tunneling controller, and for the teleportation, I think it will be cool to overwrite the aperture and the feathering to zero, because now if I click on play, the magic happens, as you can see by overriding the tunneling parameters, and with a little delay, we have made in no time a super cool transition for the teleportation. This is so cool. And there it is guys, so this was a little bonus for this vignette system, which I'm super happy they have added on the Unity XR Toolkit. Now that it is all for me, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below. Thank you for watching, and see you soon, bye bye.